This game has some good music. At least I just like this track. Hey everyone, this is GT. On another installment, let's play Akane the Kanoichi has just arrived. Previously, we started the game on the Akamatsu Plains and killed some giant jumping troll oni boss thing. And today, we're going to continue on in Goro Castle! Not Goro Castle, but Goro Castle! <laughs> Alright, first off, get. Damn it. There we go. No! Okay, I apparently suck at this now. But, um, yeah, you want to grab that. Ugh. You gotta be fast. Yes. Okay. So there we go. We got one of the. Th we got one of the. Uh, oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! We got one of the. Um, uh, what are those called? Kimonos. So we're good. We're good. Yeah. That's right. I, I, I am total I, I am a total boss when it comes to this. So uh, last night I, I was finishing up uh, actually I'm now completely done with it, uh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Because all I had were two more achievements left to get. Uh, those achievements were the um, Oh yeah, by the way, that little clock thing gives you more time. The uh, the achievement that where you kill a hundred thousand enemies in total and the achievement where you um, you have one character, at least one character that has all the skills. Now the problem with getting all the skills is this. In order to get a skill, you normally get it like randomly in a level, generally like after you level up. But once your character reaches level 30, then you automatically get one after the end of each level, which is convenient. The problem is levels can take a little while. Like the fastest time that I have on a particular level, because I was using Amaro, because uh, he was my only level 30 character. Um, the fastest time I could get was on his first original mode stage. I was able to complete it actually with the Zeta Gundam. The Zeta Gundam is pretty damn fast. When you use, because it can, in the first game, it can uh, transform into that flight mode, so you can have prolonged, like, fast movement. You can automatically do that in Gundam 2. Like in Gundam 2, all you need is Speed Star and Minoski Drive, and you just zoom around the map like crazy. But in the first one, it's a bit more difficult. So I mean, I was I was doing that for a lot of last night, and this goes nowhere. And finally, last night I ended up finishing. I, I ended up getting. The, all, I ended up getting all the skills with Amro, so today when I got up, all I had to do was do a couple more stages, because by the time that I finished that, my total killed was up to like 90,000. So I only had to do like one or... I only had to do like two or three more stages. Wait, what? 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 What, what, what just happened? I just died! Okay, what the hell? Maybe I need to pay more attention to the actual game. You know what? Fuck these guys. Mega Kunai wave. No! Yes! Get it in the first go! All right, there we go. Let's try this again. Um, quickly kill off these guys. Stupid green Koopa ninjas. Because that's what they are. They're green Koopas. In case you can't make the parallel between this and Mario. Or Mega Man. Mainly Mario. The dogs would be, well, hell if I know. Maybe like shells going back and forth. But you, you can find some parallels. Crap! 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 Alright, let's get up here. Kill this dude. The hat. Get ourselves a thing. Ah, that's kind of a cheap jump right there. Luckily you're not really supposed to make that kind of jump. Yoink. 
Alright, let's go ahead and launch this and whoa! Bibbity pop! I don't think there's anything down there. Nope, nothing down here. Alright. So, you know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get out down here and get the heck out of Dodge. Ow! God damn it! Fucking ninjas! I did it! I'm a ninja! 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 I hope to God that this is health up here. I seriously do. Because I don't want to have to... Oh, God. You know what? Screw these guys. Just boom. Kill them. I don't care. I shouldn't be this low on health. Why do I suck at this? Come on. And... Aha! Yes! There we go. There's your guy getting all the kimonos. It took me six and a half minutes to do this shit. Ugh. The, uh, the level completed text has the splitter face paint on it, by the way. If you don't get that, then boo. Go play Metal Gear Solid 3. Alright, uh, this is another level, Goro Castle. Now, one of the levels you may have seen that I haven't actually beaten this game yet. It's not that it's... Well, I mean, it is kind of hard. Like, the third level, the, thir the, the third level that's coming up, is... Oh, dear God, it's not particularly hard, it's just really annoying. Because it's a water level. So you can probably guess what that entails. Whee! Boing. Ah, oh, here we go. Ooh. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Triple kunai powers activate. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a bottomless pit down there. So don't fall. I was gonna say, in before I fall! Alright, uh, I'm probably gonna wanna switch to this one. Shh, did I time that wrong? Goddamn silver, goddamn fortune dolls. Freaking red ninjas, I swear. There we go. I don't care, just kill these guys. Yeah, I'm down to one health because I suck at this game. But no, really, the game can, the game can be challenging at times. As you've seen, I want to make sure I kill this guy first, because he's the more dangerous threat. Oh crap! All right, I think we're good. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Die! Yeah, if you kill him, his head just goes flying, and then it just goes wee. Gonna make sure we grab this and get back up here. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! All right, let's wait for it to come back down. So I don't know if you guys are enjoying this game so far. I mean, if you like it, um, you can always pick up the indie games, just like all arcade games you can get a trial of completely free. Usually the demos of indie games, it's usually like the full game. 
but you can't save, and after, like, eight minutes or so, it'll say, like, hey, the trial time has expired, you want to buy the full game? So that's pretty nice. I they do that. But yeah, just like with all arcade games, there's always a trial that you can get, and in fact, I highly recommend getting the trials. There was only... There was only one game that I got without getting a trial of, and it was a feeling on episode two. It was just because I loved the first one so much. And when I saw that there was a second one, I kind of squeed. Yeah, this puzzle's a little bit. Yeah, you can't. You don't want to step on all of those, otherwise you won't be able to get back. All right. Let's see what's over here. Ah! Ah, no, 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 no! Oh god, 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 oh god! God damn, why are there so many goddamn ninjas? I did it, I did Wait, I already used that joke, never mind. No, I think the whole deal with coming down here is to get... Yeah, it's just to get these. You don't even have to go down here. If you don't want any of these, you can just go straight up front. Yeah, so you can just go right up here if you want. You don't even have to get things. But, of course, I highly recommend you do, because it's... Well, just better to get all the collectibles. Oh, shit. No shit. Oh god. Thank you. The one spot in his head that's different from the rest is his weak point. I would have never guessed. Oh, I... <coughs> oh god, I'm sorry. I remember how to fight this guy. Okay. Let's resume. Basically, in order to fight this guy, what you probably saw me doing, right now, his sword is blocking our kunai. So what you need to do... Is basically get him to strike and then while his sword is down smack him in the face you move close enough for him to strike and then as soon as you see him lift up his sword you go away because otherwise he's gonna smack you right in the face just like that you don't want to get hit too many times obviously but um, yeah this boss is gonna take a little bit more effort to kill than the previous one. The last boss was a cakewalk. This boss is just... It, it's not particularly hard. It, 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 it just It's just tedious. Good thing you can jump off walls, otherwise you'd be kind of screwed in this game. Oh, crap! See, I didn't get away fast enough. Oh yeah, and you also and you still have that time limit. It's almost as bad as YouTube's old time limit. And he's dead. Ah oh, yeah, see that kunai just floating right there in the air? And its momentum continues. Level completed! Whoa. 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 Yeah, level completed. Alright, so that's going to do it for this video. As you can see, I still haven't unlocked Hiromi's Manor or Northern Mountains. I actually, ha actually haven't done these yet. I'll have to do these uh, over the course of the next week. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll just be... <coughs> Maybe I'll just be blind. 
I haven't decided. So, on the next installment, let's play Connie the Kanoichi. We're going to go through the Nocturne Forest. So, this has been GT. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.